How do folks? How are you doing? Um, it's a bit of a late one. Uh, it's uh, about two o'clock in the morning, so forgive my states. Um, but basically, I've realised we've lost a video, quite important one, and it was on Facebook Live on Remedy Banter. And as a lot of folks know, we've been closed down because uh, we tell a little bit too much truth, and they really don't like what we do. Uh, it is what it is, and new things are to come. But anyway, for now, this most important video, um, this is about, uh, some people call it claiming your sovereignty, it's, it's not, it's setting yourself in the private, it's, uh, it's setting your status, and, uh, and your standing in life, and it's revoking contracts, and it's sorting all the paperwork out under moto proprio, which is of your own accord. Now, first thing people need to understand, it isn't just, uh, and, and there isn't a case where you're just going to send something off to the government and that's it, and the government, somebody from the government's now going to run around to all the departments and everybody that you might have any dealings with everywhere saying, don't mess with him, leave them alone. It, it just doesn't work that way. Um, but leading up to it, I'll, I'll uh, talk you through what I've done and, and, and what brought me to it, more importantly. And, and how I've done it and, and explain a few things now basically I'm a, I'm a truther, I'm a hardcore truther I've been down just about every rabbit hole uh, <laughs> I've uh, I've found the fake ones, I've found the rubbish I've been down it all and eventually on them travels I found that there was something a little bit wonky with the law well being a truther head in, go in <laughs> absolutely at first um, as I did so I, I got into it and I was listening to folks as a lot of you lot out there will be doing and just didn't know what the hell they was talking about but could see there was something there and they was all trying to confuse and make their videos and sound clever and, and bottom line nothing ever got anywhere uh, everybody was going around in circles uh, my knowledge was increasing I kept learning and learning as you do um, that was my goal I study, I study, I study so I found myself studying the law now I'm a rough fella I've, I've been a rough fella all my life but I'm an inquisitive fella and I've always been uh, I, I wouldn't class myself ever as intelligent, I still don't know I still don't know um, I'm just a learner I, I like to learn um, and just take things in you learn a bit of that and a bit of this but above all folks will find me a bit rough I swear like a trooper I say it how it is I call anybody out there's a lot of fakes out there and I make a lot of enemies because I call them out there's a lot of fakes so I find myself in a in a group work my way into the admin stage of that group um, wasn't really happy with what was happening found myself helping folk on the side um, something I, I just created this way of helping folk with bailiffs to start off with and it was just from what I'd learned and in my head and what I could do and I found out I was getting quite some success with it so it went on to other things and, and over time it really developed into uh, I started rebutting just about everything that came along and my mind just must have just started working that way with the information I had and it just gave me the ability to pretty much rebut any claim that came forward and I was doing it on behalf of other folk uh, which was quite a, quite an undertaking in the as you can imagine when you're doing something like that and you just say yeah I'll help you, yeah I'll help you, you got a problem I'll help you <laughs> it got absolutely crazy but anyway as time went on um, I grew the group I was in things happened I moved on, set my own up, Remedy Banter uh, teaching a bit of law having a laugh and a joke in my rough manner as I do uh, it was a great success and we've done lots of things on there but the notices kept coming the, as I call it the notices kept coming the the work kept coming in people needed help so I was helping uh, over a couple of years I don't think there's anything I haven't dealt with um, I've got people totally tax-free for life uh, which is a lot easier than people think um, dealt with just about every situation successfully I've got to the point now, oh no I won't jump, I, I got to the point where 
things just got on top. Um, it was just too much, too much work. I had a heart attack. Uh, I was working so many hours a day. I was setting my alarm for three hours sleep so I could get up and continue writing. Not because I wanted to, because I had a whole list of folk uh, that just needed help. They needed help and I was the man that could help them, so I needed to help them. It was a moral thing. Um, I don't know what you'd call it. I was just absolutely stuck in this rut of helping, helping, helping and destroying myself. Like I say, I had a heart attack, change of thoughts, time to look after myself, time to think of myself. I got all this knowledge and for so long I knew I could free myself from this slave system but I'd been so wrapped up so it was time to do it. A, a good friend or what turned into a good friend uh, at the time a guy came to me he uh, he knew what I was doing I didn't know him from from Adam uh, but he knew what I was doing he followed me a little while he tried quite a while for quite a while to get to get to see me meet me I just didn't have the time eventually time happened and he was persistent enough luckily we got our heads together uh, he's a very very clever man and uh, we worked out we actually we were dynamite together there's nothing nothing in the world we couldn't do together we could we could set countries up together we could we could bring the system down together if that was our intent we had no intent of that um, you crumble it down you, you, <laughs> you learn along the way what will come if that happens uh, and it's not nice, they're, they're breaking it down themselves at the minute um, to bring in the new system and they've got everybody uh, absolutely transfixed on all the theatre but anyway I won't digress into that um, so me and uh, me and this what turned into a very good friend um, we, uh, we really got our heads into this and over eight months we developed a process that was absolutely foolproof of freeing yourself from the system and it was absolutely foolproof but we were serving documents for eight months every week so at least six special deliveries it turned into four tunes you couldn't even imagine the postal um, but we were doing it systematically removing ourselves from literally everything <laughs> so when this all when we completed the process for ourselves we we became evidenced as uh, in all levels of law and the judiciary uh, uh, sorry the judiciary and the government and that we were private sovereign um, men basically so I then decided to see if I could develop a, a shorter way of doing this which I did luckily and I narrowed it down into a quite a short process um, considering into a three-stage process so I got this absolute foolproof three-stage process what can I do with that I can't put it out on the internet because it's a three-stage process and I know everybody wants a template but you can't have a template like yeah well I can't make you a template like this you just can't you can't do it it's personalized it's for you so and if it went out there if the first stage went out there as a template People get themselves in an awful lot of trouble. It's, it's, this is deep law, and making a fuck up with this document would absolutely cause all sorts of chaos for yourself. So I couldn't, I couldn't release it. So nothing was going to happen to it. I was looking after my health. I didn't know how I could help anybody because you imagine just saying to everybody, "Yeah, this is free, but I've got to help you do it." You'd be dead. The ticker couldn't handle it, so uh, so basically it got sidelined for a bit, and then under the current circumstances, I'd say I'm a deep, deep truther. I've got an idea of what's coming next and where it's going. So we decided we're going to get ourselves out. We need to. I'm already off grid anyway. I live off grid, um, but we decided that a collection of us, a few of us, that we're getting out and becoming sovereign. A couple of others were becoming sovereign. Uh, getting the private status and we decided we was going to get some land and set up a little place remove it from the system set it absolutely in the private and live peacefully self-sufficient mind our own business as we're private we're outside the system stay outside the system life will be hunky dory won't it <laughs> current climate what's going on mm, you deal with how that's going to go so anyway, this is the plan. We were very lucky. A lovely woman has joined us, and she's uh, she's in a fortunate position where 
she can put some money in to, to get the land to start us off. Obviously we've still got to get a lot of money to get it all set up because we're not just going to be gypsies and, and live terribly. No disrespect to any gypsies or anybody of any kind, but uh, that's not what we're about. We want to set something up really nice and uh, live quite normal to what we thought feels normal. So, what can I do? Um, I'm not a rich man, I've got no money. But what I've got, I've got a process, a hell of a process. So I decided, for the purpose of that, and solely for the purpose of that, not to make myself any money, to uh, to make some money to help do this, I'd start freeing folk. So I started to do it. But I'm me. And it don't sit right, it don't sit right charging anybody anything. I've never charged anybody anything, but to be honest, I've worked myself into heart attacks. So, uh, and I've had multiple heart attacks through it all now. Well, I wouldn't say through it all, but with working very hard. So, here we go. I started helping other folk out to help us as well, and others that are going to be joining us in this, uh, I don't like to really call it a community, but I don't know what else to call it, really. So, uh, what can I do? I've got to tell folk. I've got to tell folk. So, basically, I'm going to run you through what it is. Now, obviously, I can't read it yet. There's, there's a... There's a 33 page document, roughly, roughly everybody's different, but roughly 33 page document, and it's times by seven documents, you've got 250 odd pages of plus six documents there is 250, I don't know, you do the maths, it's two o'clock in the morning. So uh, 250 plus pages, I think it's going towards 300 actually in total. Um, there's an offer. <laughs> I we'll found out when I was printing it, it actually took five ink cartridges. <laughs> five ink cartridges to print all that out. That's a, that, they're terrible. They're terrible. Um, 60 pages per cartridge I was getting when I was printing and I could find it out. It was only within a few pages. That's how much you get ripped off. So, as you can imagine, the costs involved were absolute fortune. But anyway, I ended up having to get a... Uh, a, a printer that just takes the bottled ink to try and bring the cost down, but there's still quite some cost involved in doing all this. Like, but what you do, this is all absolutely set in law, and you have perpetual numbers. And we actually, oh, me and my friend, we got governmental numbers sent back to us under the filing numbers, which are absolutely amazing to have, and um, very good. I don't know, as Parliament's not working properly, whether they're actually issuing them at the minute or whether somebody's there to do it. I don't know, but it doesn't really matter because what's done is done and it's absolutely set in law so anyway let's say I can't read it you all there's just far far too much and it is so so deep 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 the first section you wouldn't even understand is it's a declaration of divinely appointed sovereignty and asseveration of divine truth asseveration should I say of divine truth um, that's your ecclesiastical side now I don't know whether you know about it but uh, the, the Vatican believe they hold you, your soul. They uh, they own your ass. That's their opinion. Sorry if you can hear my dog panting. <laughs> it's nobody ever breathing. It's just my dog having her wings drawn to the right side. Come on, let me just let my dog outside while I'm talking. So, we get on to that one. That is uh, an ecclesiastical document and it absolutely removes whatever presumptions and assumptions that they own your soul. It removes it entirely. Um, the Vatican have no claim on you whatsoever. You're going to have to excuse me a minute now because the dog wants the bloody door open. Like I say, I live off grid. So I'm going to put a cardigan on. Stay warm. Because she'll be in and out doing my head in. Right. So you've got that one. That one absolutely gets your soul back as far as, as, far as them having your soul. They believe they do. And that's one of the things that absolutely binds you. They've got the rights. So uh, you claim that one back for starters. What can I say? I'd go into it, but that one is absolutely deep. You're just not going to... It's going to go... Whew, seriously, and no disrespect to you, it is very, very deep, ecclesiastical. So after that one, you go on to a revocation of all contracts. Now, throughout the government, they have so, so many contracts, uh, or presumed and assumed contracts on you, Every aspect of your life is touched by these contracts. 
every time you think you have no choice, it's because of one of these contracts, these assumed and presumed contracts. Your taxes, literally everything in life, your driving licenses, everything in life, your passport, your everything is a contract. Literally, and everything you do is a contract. So, a revocation of all contracts, and you absolutely revoke all contracts. All contracts. So, so much work is involved in this one. Um, but it's, it's, it's a very good piece of documentation. And then you go on to a notice of understanding intent to claim of right. Now, I know a lot of people have done some of these things individually. But there's much, much more than sending a piece of paper away. Loads of people have done this. Oh, yeah, I've sent off one of them. Who got it? Did you find out if anybody received it? Did you get a response to it? Did, did anything come of it? Nothing comes of it. Nothing comes of anything. You can't just do things like that. You can't just send a piece of paper away because somebody told you. And that's what a lot of these groups do. They have... I don't know whether they're airbrain ideas or whether they're just designed to take you down the wrong path. But either way, uh, there's much more to it. But but when it comes to this one, um, I mean, the one I wrote, it has... Let me just scroll down to the bottom of this one and have a quick look how many points there are in here. There's 104 points just on that section of it. Um, and these are setting out your rights, setting out basically your terms because you've, you've removed all your contracts and you, uh, you, now need to, you need to set your terms of your life and nobody does this with the government, I say it all the time people know that the government presume they have this authority over you because you consent and, and people say I don't consent well that's not good enough to say you don't consent have you ever spoke to them and told them you don't consent? not many have you just sit in your house there, I don't consent. I don't cut it. You've already consented. They've got your consent. Don't just say I don't consent. So it takes quite some documentation to remove all consent and then to set in stone your terms. Your terms. Because now any contracts that want to go forward from here, they're your contracts. They don't have any contracts with you. They're all revoked. And it goes into multiple laws and case laws that prove that the government is unlawful. Uh, which it is, it's absolutely unlawful and it's proven in law, there is case law to prove it um, there's multiple, multiple laws, it's another document here that goes into again multiple case laws uh, it speaks of Kandran Kathuthis which is PhD he is the director of uh, the London, uh, it's the Department of Government and London in London of Economics and, and this guy he absolutely proved beyond a shadow of a doubt that the government, in his words, had no more power than McDonald's. Or no more authority, sorry. No more authority than McDonald's. And that's because they only have the authority to which you give them. So if you remove it, they have none. And that's absolute fact. And from that, it actually went into a court and it got case law on it. So it stands in law that the government have no more authority than McDonald's. But if you don't know it, and you don't tell them you know it, have they got authority when they come kicking your door in? Have they got authority? Is there anything to redress? So... You get your contract sorted. You tell them exactly who they are, who you are most important there's a notice to any and all agents of the crown in here this again absolutely destroys the government destroys the system destroys the police force it absolutely states who they are it's all private for-profit corporations again with case laws and tearing apart this one actually gets a little bit legal um, legal terminology should I say not lawful because I deal in lawful but in here there's a few legal words for them just for them I don't usually use them but this is absolutely a great piece of documentation. Everything stands in law, nothing, none of it. There's no, no jurisdictions at all. Now, for a couple of years, I worked only in the jurisdiction of equity. I would not touch admiralty, only in equity. But what I found out, I, I actually learned to cross over and be able to stand in any jurisdiction I wanted to at, at one stage. I paid quite a lot of money, actually, for a course to actually learn. That was one of the things I wanted to actually take from that, uh, which I did successfully. Um, but well, over the years I've spent absolute fortunes on my knowledge and what I, what I wanted to learn but if you, if, you, if you need it that's what you do and if that's your mindset but 
anyway, where was I? We uh, stood, I stood only in the jurisdiction of equity. But with this paperwork, I actually realized that that wasn't necessary, nor was it necessary to stand in admiralty. I learned through the process, or me and my friend, we learned through the process to actually stand without jurisdiction whatsoever, just as a man. Just as a man, tell him. But when you put in all of the laws, all of the laws they're breaking, all of the case laws to prove it, you revoke all your contracts and blah, 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 and, and you get, you take your soul back from the uh, Vatican. Why well, ridiculous they own your soul. Have you ever heard anything so stupid in your life? But uh, that's what they believe. So, so because of that, they own you. Really? So I know there's been many, and I, to me now, I, I, uh, I don't know how I actually feel about it because for so, so long, while learning all this, this was sort of the goal. This was the goal to get this, to get to this point of knowledge where I could do this. Somewhere on the, along the way, it lost its importance. It wasn't important. It was important just to help people. Best I could. I explain people. Teach people properly because you've got so many people out there just trying to make videos and they don't want you to know what they're saying. Because if you know what they're saying, you're going to learn some shit and you're going to learn more than them because they're just skimming the surface so they can learn the video. The next video. The next video. And yes, accumulative. They learn loads of things. But nothing in depth, nothing gets followed through to the end. So this had to be followed through. And yes, it, it became a very expensive process the way I did it. Uh, and to anybody, it's, uh, it, it is costly to do. But once it's done, there is no way in the world you could ever be taken into a court for an act and statute. It just could not be done. It could not... The paperwork itself tells them why they can't do it. <laughs> and you'd only have to go in and throw that at them and your fee schedule that go with. But to be honest, you wouldn't go in because you wouldn't ever have to walk in a court anyway. You could just serve this to the court. They wouldn't there touch you. And the fee schedules, just for taking it that far, the fee schedules and such like that, that come along at a later stage, come on the third stage, actually, the fee schedules go in. Um, they're phenomenal. They're absolutely phenomenal if they ever try and touch you with anything of this. And of course, it's only your contract's running now. The entire world is contract. Everything's commercial. Everything's private for profit. United Kingdom, PLC. Check it out, company's house. It'll tell you right there. It'll tell you their, uh, their number. Tell them their registration number. Your company, your private for profit corporation, registered in 1999. What's going on here? <laughs> Think about it. And this is how you. To me, like I say, my mind just works this way now, so I can see things so easily, and when I hear something, I, to me, it's like, what? And, and why are you struggling with that? And that's so fucking... Um, but, unfortunately, it don't really come across uh, very well sometimes. I sound really helpful and explanatory to start off, and I'll always explain, and I'll always help, and I will, I will take great lengths and spend hours on the phone explaining something to you. But I think I've uh, I've got to the point now where it's so easy. I'm trying to get people to uncomplicate things. Yes, this paperwork's uncomplicated, but the way you deal with things isn't complicated at all. And so many people making these videos make them sound so complicated, and it's really not. It's just knowing who you are within the within the system, who you are within the trust. You're the beneficiary, and, and I've been saying that for a couple of years, even before I realised the actual power and how to use it properly. And this documentation, actually, it is using it properly. It goes on after that how the current situation affects myself and the possible remedy. Well, we're going on here about this pandemic, And uh, it goes into vaccinations and it goes... I mean, vaccinations or RFID chips... If they dare stick a needle in you, it's one hundred million pounds just on that one. And I'm not talking about much money within this because there's, there's, there's the remedy that that will, and I absolutely, I'm sure, will come with this. And I know the government are doing fuck all at the minute. But when the government get back to work, 
I will be settling this and I will be getting the remedy because it is there, the documentation is already done, it's already set at every single level. But the remedy within this is not what anybody else would ever talk about, it's not monetary, um, but it's beyond settling your life. Uh, but that's not really to go into on the video because I don't really want people to be focused on money because it's not about that, it's getting out of this corporate system as far as I'm concerned. And, and preventing all this bullshit that just keeps coming at you over and over again and it's 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 corporate it's, it's run by commercial law there must be a signed and wet ink contract by both of you having given fair and equal opportunity to give it your own due diligence and decide yes I want to sign this contract I want to enter into contract with you guys so you can then bend me over and for the rest of my life they never gave you that chance did they um, look into the birth certificate fraud and such like if you don't know that but uh, for now I won't go into that because this is just purely to explain this so so that one there pretty much finishes it all off at that because by the time you've finished all that lot off like I say you've got 250 to 300 pages not quite 300 but going up that way um, of work that will absolutely take you out of it that's my work now for you it doesn't have to be that way and it really doesn't you can you could just you've heard the titles there of each section just write something anything anything of anything and it doesn't have to be all of those either but if you can't do anything write something tell them that you're not consenting tell them that you're revoking your contracts tell them you this and that and the other you might not have it in my words and you may not be able to put all this case law in but at least you've said it people should say it now I can't tell you how to do this and the real reason I can't tell you how to do this because it was eight months to just learning the first process and then it was probably another month converting it down into this process how can I tell you on a video how to do that unfortunately the years and years of study of the law and, and actual methods that that work that are absolutely successful not these idiots who are just playing games and talking and won't actually do anything because they know it's going to backfire in the face I've put my face on the line every time I look straight out there to help people and I put it right on the line nobody's one person's got something bad to say about me and one only and, uh, and he's just disgruntled and I won't go into that uh, anybody else has got anything to say about me it's because I've called him a fake I'm a genuine guy and I'm not out to convince anybody. Yes, I am putting a fee on this to uh, to, to create something very special for, for a few folk to get us totally out and into other places. I was on conversation with somebody who's doing a similar sort of thing and I'm going to also help them um, get their situation out. So it's not a case of I'm all out for myself. They're not. I'm not going to charge them a penny for that. They're doing the exact same thing. I've told them as I'm doing my process of getting my... Uh, land or the land that we're getting out I uh, will mirror the process and show them how to be doing it uh, and that will work for them as well and if we can get a few different communities up here and there and everywhere there's something to work between isn't it and what we have maybe they have something that we want we have something they want anyway I won't go too much into that one but yes of course there's absolutely days of work of every one of these I need to do for anybody there's days of work and quite some quite some expense as folk will find out when uh, when they actually do this but uh, I do have folks coming through for it and and we have a very good reason for it um, I'm not out to get rich as I've said uh, I don't care if you want to say to me how do I do this I can tell you but, but don't expect me to be able to tell you all this because it's too much and after this process the one first process that absolutely takes an absolute age to do days and days of work before I've got one ready for anybody and then uh, we send that one off and then uh, there's a second process that steps in a month later where we actually set it in law and it is in judgment in law and then uh, after that process we deal with the peripherals which are pretty much what you think you're going to have problems with in your life who do you think you're going to deal with DVLA, police um, so and so and you're not, you're not putting them under any notice at them at all at this stage it's all done it's all done this stage is just clearing up and you're just informing them you're updating their records and it is an update of records I 
it starts with update of records. To tell them it's update of records, update your records. I've said that a few times, haven't I? <laughs> but basically, um, that's all you're doing at that stage. Um, you're updating the records, but you're doing it in a form where there's a fee schedule attached to it. So if they don't update the records, I've learned through the years of absolutely tying everything up and closing every avenue for them. Um, I don't let anything go. I don't leave them an angle to come through. If they're going to come back with anything, they won't on this at all. You'll never, ever, they'll never, ever come back on this. But anything I do, if anybody's going to come back, it's just because they think it's a template and you're not going to be able to handle what comes back. There's nothing more rebuttable than them coming back after you've knocked them back on the claim. It's only if you don't know what you're doing that that you get a response and you go, oh no, I'm fucked, they've said this. But it's all ridiculous. Everything they do is unlawful in the first place. Very, very easy to rebut once you've got the knowledge. But as, as I've said to anybody, the ones that have had this document, um, read it over and over again over and over again because there is literally everything in that document you ever need to know and all this shite that's in my head for years of study it don't need to be there that needs to be there that document what's in my head yes it's it's absolutely fantastic for me I can I can talk my way out of any situation but it's not so necessary now I mean like please bring a situation on me have you seen my fee schedule and as well as that, the first order of business, if you were to walk into any court, and it's already set in law with it, the first order of business would actually be to settle that document. And that's the remedy within it. Which would uh, save me a lot of work, wouldn't it? Because uh, I'm going to burst this one wide open. Once that government opened back up, uh, everybody I've uh, set in is free. And anybody that goes for it now, don't think because the government's not working, that your processes won't work. Still put your still put your notices in. Have words with them. Tell them. It doesn't matter that they're not there. That's not your concern. Your mail's still received and signed for. You've got evidence. You can still get that in law. Absolutely. It doesn't matter if they acquiesce. It doesn't matter what their opinions are at all. What you're doing is getting something set in law. You're informing the right folk of the right things. Then you're setting it in law. So anyway, I hope that's explained a few things. Um, if you don't know any of this and you don't know how it all works, have a look into your Sesca V, your birth certificate fraud. The fact is, your parents sign you off as a birth certificate, they're giving you away to your, uh, to your loving government, who then make your parents trustees. <laughs> so all liabilities on them. But the governments, they can uh, take control of your trust. And at 15 years and five months, your trust isn't on ever more it is. And there you go. So anyway, have a look into it and we'll call it a day at that one. I'm going to get off and uh, look after yourselves. And there it is, there's the explanation. Um, the best I can. I'm sorry I can't do any better and I'm sorry I can't give you too much more. But that is... Uh, that is as good as uh, I can really explain it because it's a very, very complicated document for those that don't understand it because if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm just doing what the others do and confuse you on videos. But what I say to everybody is ask me absolutely anything whatsoever, anything at all, and I will answer. I don't, I don't blag you off and I won't lie. Or I will always answer anything at all that you've got to say, uh, anything that you need to know. It's uh, it's absolutely disgusting what some of the folks out there do and just blag you off, making out they know themselves and they blag you off hoping you'll forget about it and you ask them again a bit later and they blag you off again. Eventually you give up fucking asking because you know damn well they don't know. Yet you still follow them. It's a shame really. But anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not one for caring for followers. Uh, I've always kept my group small even though we got closed down. Uh, I do try and keep my groups, I've always tried to keep my groups small to keep the shills out and just have the like-minded and the ones that are actually interested coming in. But uh, like I say, we're doing a bit of something now, so we're putting it out there a little bit and hopefully very soon we'll be able to uh, get ourselves set up.
and others will as well. Um, not, be nice to connect with others and help others with getting themselves free and getting the land free, especially the land, because you don't want asshole after the land. And there'll be uh, there'll be different departments that feel that they have a claim with it and land registries and such like. So you have to just deal with them. It's very easy. Uh, you just have to preempt everything in your life. Rather than waiting for trouble to come to you in your life, you know who. Let me, let me just say this, for instance. You think, uh, let me say, say you wanted to build something. You know planning permission are going to give you some problems. Just, and, and every situation works this exact way. So don't think it's like, I've got all these ideas. No, it's just the way things work. Planning permission is coming for, going to come for you if you build your property. You really want to do it. They're not going to let you build it. So what do you do? You, you try and build it, they're going to come and knock it down because they've got the rights, they've got the implied uh, contracts and such like. Uh, they're going to come and knock your place down. But you know, if you just noticed them in the first place, put them under notice to your inalienable rights to what you can do on your property, it's your property, what they have rights to, the government's unlawful, prove that and such like, you, just, you do these little bits and bobs, you've put that in the form of an affidavit of truth, 28 days, you've got that one, you can you can then set that in law, you can get your own case law on that once you've done that, ever so easy, ever so easy, you get your own case law on it, now you've got case law, they're going to come, to, now you build your property, they come to you, you can't do that. <laughs> You can't do that. There's regulations and piss off you, idiot. Case law. Go away. It's written in case law. So, uh, what authority do they have? You need to preempt them. You need to work ahead of time. Don't wait for shit to come falling on you. The biggest thing about getting free and being private and being sovereign, as people like to call it, and, and it is sovereign. You are sovereign. Um, but it's, uh, it's a bit of a cliche word, so... I like to just say that you're in the private, but the biggest thing about it is it's motor proprio of your own accord, and the first thing you need to be able to do is prove that you can handle your own affairs. Now, if you can't handle your own affairs, somebody is going to handle them for you, and that's a fact. They are going to handle them for you. That's how the system's set up. So you must handle your own affairs. I think in a lot of ways a lot of people already know this one because uh, say if you don't do this you've consented if you don't do that yeah, yeah. but you must handle your own affairs think of another little analogy here these old uh, old programs that we used to watch of the Lord of the Manor sort of thing and he's in there in his office in his study and he's getting all his paperwork out and He's bought something, maybe he's putting it in the books because he's handling his own affairs. And I'm not saying this is what you have to do, but technically, yes, in a way. I mean, you could get a book and you could put it... I know people out there have made a big deal about a special book that you have to buy off me for hundreds of millions of pounds and, and I'll tell you, I've put a little gold embossed name on the front of it and you'll think it's all special. It's all a load of bollocks. <laughs> it's all a load of bollocks. <laughs> you, can, you can put it in your own trust if you wanted to go down the way of trust or you could just inform them inform them just because you've got yourself free it doesn't mean you should never contact anybody ever again because if you're not handling your own affairs what's going to happen somebody's going to come along and handle your affairs for you because you weren't yes you revoked all contracts you need to tell everybody because there's nobody coming around knocking on all of the different departments doors on your behalf and telling them you're no longer on the books there with him. You're not that man. You're not that woman. You're this. Evidenced. There's your number. You've got a you've got an official number there. And that is you. But <laughs> you know, <laughs> when people see this shit, I've never seen that before. Well, of course you haven't. I don't know what that is. Anyway, I've got this job to do. And that's what you're going to get into. So you must handle your own affairs for what's coming. And if anything does come your way, fantastic. Let them bring, let them bring anything, anything they want. There's, there's already covered in fee schedule. There's nobody can come to you after this in any way, shape, or form. And if anybody does, it's to your benefit. Simple as that. But you'll get no hassle from it. Anyway, I am going to cut off at that. Leave it at that, and uh, it is what it is. I just wanted to put this out there because we'd lost the last one. 
Uh, I didn't realise we'd lost it. I was saying to folks, it's there, it's, it's, it's on uh, Facebook. I've got other groups, Trust Asset Protectors, which is where uh, folks can get in touch with me about this, but it's not, that's on Facebook, Trust Asset Protectors or TrustAssetProtectors.com. Uh, you can go onto their info at Trust Asset Protectors. Um, but the reality is that's not a plug, I'm just, as I'm talking, I'm remembering. But, uh, yeah, it is what it is. That's where we can be found. The Facebook group Trust Asset Protectors isn't one of these groups where you post things to and it's going to revolve and there's lots of things to watch and see and such like. It doesn't work that way on there. That's just there for folks to find us and get in touch. And that's all that one's about. We have other groups for other things, but Remedy Banter was closed down uh, last week. They don't like what we do. <laughs> Kicked off the face. So it's gone. Um, but I will work things. And my head's been working on what I'm going to do next. And you know something's coming. <laughs> you just know something's coming. I don't stop. And I won't stop. Uh, so look out for me. I will let everybody know what it is uh, once it comes. Um, if folks are listening in. I don't care if you subscribe to my YouTube channel or not, but if you do, you'll find it. <laughs> but it will be an awful lot of fun. It'll be an awful lot of truth. An awful lot of truth. And there'll be an awful lot of law. And pretty much the answers to anything, if only you ask. I can I, I will answer anything and with or without this paperwork I mean I can't I can't spend all my time on the telephones anymore I used to do about eight hours a day on the telephone um, <laughs> but that was before the writing then came to the writing then it was whenever I could and yeah and now I won't let it get back that way again but I will answer any questions I can um, there's nothing out there nothing out there that's not rebuttable if, it, if it's in the world of fiction with the acts and statues floating on the sea of commerce there, there's nothing in the world that's, that's not rebuttable absolutely and straight from my lips boom I'll, I'll be able to rebut it because it's not what I know it's the mindset once you actually realise who you are to the level that you need to realise who you are you know it and it's nothing big headed I, I say to everybody I'm just a man don't ever put me on a pedestal never ever ever don't think oh he's special I'm just, I was a rough arsehole but I really put my head into things and I learned and I learned and I learned and anybody can do that <laughs> and I am that guy trust me I am that guy that proves if anybody can do it you can do it so just have a pop, start learning. Start learning what you need to know though. Don't just start following bullshit. So much out there, so much out there that'll spin you in circles. Don't follow people down false trails. Um, unless they can show you they've done it. How can they tell you that they, how can they tell you how to do it? So many folks out there telling people how to do stuff. Never done it themselves. Never tried to do it themselves. Don't really know what's gonna happen. I'm just trying to use you as guinea pigs. I put myself right there. I put my neck on the chopping line. You saw some of the things I've served notices on, and I've done it for a reason, because I need to be doing that first. I need to be the one to see if, if shit comes on before I tell somebody else to do it. I don't see that with other folk. But to be honest, without doing that, you're not right, and that isn't special of me. That should be a prerequisite. Anybody's going to tell anybody how to do it, you must damn well be able to put your own neck on the line with it. Anyway, folks, I'm going to leave it at that now. I am definitely going to go. This is chopped into two videos, I'm sure, because I can only video for a little bit on here. Um, but uh, I think I know a man who might just be able to slice them together because I'm technophobe. You give me a computer screen and a keyboard and I can tap you a notice for literally anything in the world. I could, I could make anything happen, um, I'm, I'm absolutely sure if I tried hard enough and me and my mate got our heads together we can absolutely, we can absolutely change everything if we had enough time and worked everything, but uh, what are you going to change it to? What we're doing is working on this, <laughs> don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong, I shouldn't really say it like that, I couldn't change anything, <laughs> I couldn't change what they're doing at the minute. Not in the slightest, but what I can do, I can change it for you. And you can change it for you. Tell them, uh, you're not serving me with that shit. You're not pumping that shit into me. But that's, that's for another one. 
that is for another one but this covid thing if you uh, if you've got any concerns you need to look into this thing especially the uh the new 2020 build they've bought in you want to rebut that in full you want to rebut that in full but again that's for another video there's plenty of them i lost <laughs> on my youtube channel that got took down <laughs> i don't know 100 videos lost but i just started a new one up gumshoe sleuth um have a look at that one the truths come flowing on that one so uh this is probably where this will end up actually for you to find um so uh yeah they'll keep coming on there and now i'm gonna you'll find on my channel <laughs> i can have a chat i don't i don't stop so i'm gonna stop now and i'm going and look after yourselves um best you can the crazy crazy times in this world as far as i'm concerned and it is truly my belief um, they're coming for your money, they're destroying lives, they're, they're killing people. Now, if people are going to consent to this, you're going to find yourself in an awful lot of trouble. You either need to remove your consent, learn how to remove your consent, or get it done. And that's not a plug. Go anywhere, ask anybody to help you. That's, uh, it's absolute in these times. You cannot leave your consent riding in with the things they've got planned. You just can't. I don't want to scare anybody, and I certainly don't use scare tactics, like I've said multiple times, and I'm not over saying it. It is absolutely genuine. I'm not out for anybody's money. It actually sits quite bad with me, but we're doing something absolutely amazing, and what we're actually, what I'm actually doing is actually invaluable. So it's not a case of uh, it, it, what I'm doing. It sort of sits, but it just... I've never charged for anything in my life, but the reality is you, I just couldn't give this away. Once it was done, I realised it's, it's a process. You can't, you can't give a process away. It'll be used wrong, and a lot of people will be in a lot of trouble with it, and then a lot of people will be saying, that don't work, that don't. Who's the cunt? Craig Gumshoe. So anyway, look after your folks. Look after yourselves, folks. It's probably, I don't know what time are we on now. Oh, quarter to three. 45 minutes, 47 minute video. Um, I didn't expect it to be that long. Uh, I expected to be able to get it all in on one. I think it only was about half an hour, but like I say, I'll get some of the spices together and then we will put it up there. And uh, yeah, hopefully you can all gleam a little something from it, try a little something from it, decide to learn something from it. The law is corrupt, the law is treasonous, it's, it's absolutely proven in law, it's treason. You're committing fraud uh, if you want to go along with it, it's absolutely proven. I can show you in two minutes flat, it's fraud. Many, many people can, uh, as, as most things are in this world, and that's why they've got you, because you're committing fraud on the offset, you're, you're already in dishonour before it even starts. Get you every way. So, learn, learn to get yourself out of it, or just get yourself free for now and read and read and read and read and read your documentation you've got a grace period while it's going through you read it over and over again but there's no reason by the end of it you couldn't learn it if you read it three or four times a day or something it depends on what effort anybody wants to put into it as far as I'm concerned I've, I've proven it over and over again and if, if anybody wants to learn something they will and it is all down to what effort they put into it and people say to me I've tried I've tried but you know something I've been the one there actually doing all the work for them knowing they're not trying one bit over and over again I was doing documents for people for different reasons uh, as they're telling me I'm trying to learn no you're not hey are you going on holiday and then you can I don't begrudge anybody on holiday but that's what was happening I'm watching them go on holiday then come back and then photos from wherever they're going for the days out and this and that. full lives parties and whatever they're doing and like I say no begrudging from me and I don't expect anybody to learn anything it's people's own decisions but if you're not going to learn and you're going to do all them things you can't come back to the guy and keep saying to him I am trying and I, I just can't do that I'm trying you're not even attempting because if you did you would learn it it's uh, not quite as difficult as folks would make you believe so anyway I'm 49 minutes now warned you I'd yak <laughs> them that know me know it them that uh, don't all <laughs> find it out look after yourselves I love you all out there but look after yourselves it's really important these times to stay safe don't hide under the stairs from something that's not coming. Stay safe from the ones that sent it.